our rugged north all the way down to the beautiful south, the centre, the east, the west, doesn't matter where, from travel to tips and all sorts of other things for driving, you've come to the right place. Come for a ride with us at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Tour. Hello everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Wheel Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today I'm in the Barrington Top State Forest again. I'm at Banksia Campground. Now I've driven right down to the bottom of it so I'll take you around a walk around the whole thing. Now down at the bottom is this beautiful little river. It's very easy to get confused between this campground and the Dilgary River Campground. Now funnily enough for Dilgary River Campground, it's harder to actually get access to the river. This one, you can get there pretty easily. But, I digress. I'll show you around this campground. Now right down the bottom, on the left hand drive in, as you can see we're parked here with Brett, there's a little tiny sort of secluded campground which would be useful for a tent or a swag, and that is probably about it. And uh, yeah, you can get in here, but that's pretty well all that gets into this one. But from your main camping area, you can get in and pretty well anything. Now this one's definitely two wheel drive, four wheel drive, camper trailers, off-road caravans to get in here. I don't think any of that would be a problem. So I'll walk you up the hill here. Now there's two entrances into this. You'll see those in a while. This is like this centre bit here. That doesn't look like anybody camps in. It's just like a centre bit in the turning circle. But if it was busy, I'd say you could camp in there. Now over here on the left is another good little camping area. Now as you can see a lot of this is not as flat as you might like. So you sort of have to make your own levels. But you can get a couple of camps in there without too many problem. Over here you've got another flat area. There's a few signs of old fires. A couple of power pits that have been pretty well kept. And that's the overview from the higher section. Now I'll walk you back up this entry track and give you a look at that. It's a little way in, but there's another little camping ground at the start of this. Now this Banksia campground is off Pheasant Creek Road. Now Pheasant Creek Road is one of the main ones from the Barrington Tops Road and it also leads you nicely onto Dil Dilgary Circuit 
one of the speaks do, Dilgri circuit. And from there, you can go and look at the fairly famous unusual shaped rock that everybody's videoed up here. And I've got one way back in another clip somewhere. Uh, well, you can check that out. It takes you down to the Dilgree River campground and uh, eventually back out to the Barrington Tops Forest Road. They've nearly made it back out here to Pheasant Creek Road. So that's a, a good, good condition forest road that anything can drive as you sort of expect. Oh, there goes the car now. Now, coming in, there's a little road to the right, which I'm now walking up. There's another little campground here. Now, obviously, it's not as close to the river. It seems to have a couple of fire pits or fireplaces. Broken bottle in that one, really? Anyway, I've banged on about that enough. So, you turn around, you can get a couple of camps in here. I would dare say, be a single camper trailer job, you just have to manoeuvre. And uh, otherwise, tents and swags. Now, I am intrigued, walking along, why? There is a milk crate here. Yeah. Milk crates are very useful, but are they useful lying around the bush? I don't think so. I'll take this one with me. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, that's sort of things you come across at these campgrounds. I will walk you back out here to Pheasant Creek Road and give you a look at the general condition of the road. The turn off into this campground, you could miss it. Coming down the hill from Barrington Tops Road, if you turned onto Pheasant Creek, that's down the hill, and this turn off is to the right. You have missed it if you go further down that road and go across the little timber bridge. We came from that way this morning, across the bridge and turned left into here. So as you saw, that was the way up to the right. And this is your drive down to the, what I would consider to be the main campground. As I said, it's kind of funny how the little Dilgree River camp, access to the water is actually quite hard to, to do. But this one, Bankshead Campground, access to the water is quite easy. So, go figure. Anyway, it's another pretty little spot. And the funny part is I missed this campground completely when I was up here filming for the Dilgoo River camp that by now you would have seen. So, drove past he didn't, that was he. Now it does appear, fortunately, to be, apart from this milk crate, to be relatively unpolluted, so that's nice. I mean, there is some. Unfortunately, people are still not respecting the bush as they should, but let's hope we can get this campaign really up and running and get these places clean. Well, as I said, with that said, this one's pretty good. Well, from what I've seen walking around it. I've not stayed here. I'm not planning to stay here at the present, maybe one day. But uh, it looks like a nice enough little spot, that's for sure. So it's probably about all I can tell, I'm just driving, walking around the turning circle section of track here now. 
back down alongside the river. <laughs> Which, by all accounts, is quite chilly. So that's probably all I can tell you about this particular campground. So, hope you enjoyed this video. It's fairly short and sweet, but I still hope you enjoyed it. If you did, put a like on it. Really, really appreciate the support. Helps the channel out immensely. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, I'd really like it, and uh, I hope you like it enough to make it worthwhile for you. If you do subscribe, uh, click the bell for notifications, then you'll know when I put up a new video. And to the old hands who have been around for a while now, thanks again for taking time out of your day to watch one of my clips. So all the best, guys, and we will see you on the next one. It's weird the things you find in the bush, isn't it? You're great. <laughs>